Good morning to everyone. My name is Dr. B. Jaydish Babu, working as assistant professor in the Department of Physics at Madanpalli Institute of Technology and Science, Madanpalli, Andhra Pradesh. My parents are there near my native place, which is 100 kilometers from where I work, and supporting me always. My wife has also started to come to same institute where I work from last year, June. I have two kids, 10 years old son, studying fifth class, and a daughter of six years old, studying first class. I have two brothers, one elder and one younger, and my in-laws are very cooperative. I have enrolled to UHV1 during June 2021, when it was second lockdown. After receiving so many mails from ACT through my institute, I did not register previously. I have been doing many online courses, but by that time I was so disturbed, even my thoughts were taken me to deep, deep depression level. My ma major project from DST got halted due to COVID. So much opposition from one of the colleagues created a lot of disturbance in me. And there was a lot of misunderstanding between us. I have listened to some of religious oriented lectures, got some relief, but Going through first session of UHV1 by Kumarji, I realized that this is the one I was searching for from many years. From childhood, I was thinking that I need to change the world, make everyone perfect. But after the workshop, slowly I am realizing that I need to transform myself first. After workshop, I regularly participated in all meetings, completed refresher part one in February, 2022. And in one of the session, Rajal Vaya motivated for demo session. So I got the opportunity to give the demo in the evening tutorial session. I was thinking I can be a resource person very easily, but it was not so easy. I took classes to students first. And then in April 2022, I went to Bangalore workshop where I met Umesh Bhaiya and Sharimla Devi. There and came to know about my about uh, morning sessions. And then I learned in the workshop how to share values. After coming back, I have joined morning session from May 18th, 2022. Though it was started on 16th, I had some technical issues and Dilshad Bhaiya, Parikshit Bhaiya helped me out. From that day, I was joining the exercise one and two in the morning section for 150 days right now. Regularly making note, observing myself. I have completed UHV2 in May 2022 and then went to face-to-face -to -face workshop as co-facilitated with Umesh Bhaiya and handled tutorial sessions also. This is about my journey with UHV and introduction. Now let me share my observation with exercise one and exercise two, starting with exercise one. Step one is observing my imagination, desires, thoughts, and expectations. It is said it is important step. Initially, I faced a lot of problem with this step. While observing the imagination, I used to get headache. Thoughts were changing continuously, not able to observe. I used to analyze and react. Slowly, I practiced and able to see the thought and then 
feeling behind that. With a lot of examples given by Didi, I was able to realize this step is important. Coming to step two, the feeling that I have with my thought is naturally acceptable to me or not. I observed that if my thought is not naturally acceptable to me, I was dropping it. And my observation drifts to other thought. For example, if I had a feeling of opposition towards someone in my workplace, then I change my thought. I could see that the feeling I have is naturally acceptable to me or not. And in step three, I started evaluating my state with this feeling, whether I am comfortable or not. I clearly see that with feeling which is naturally acceptable to me, I am, comfort I am comfortable. Otherwise, I am disturbed inside. I want to come out of that. For example, when I decided to show anger on my kids, I see that I'm not comfortable. And initially I was seeing after the incident, but slowly I try to develop this observation. Then while it is happening, I am observing. So I had to practice to be observed well before that happens. In step four, who decided the feeling? So this is very easy step for me. I can see it very easily, but it is very, very powerful step. Why it is powerful? I decided the feeling. The outside world is just a trigger. This sentence has brought change in my thinking. After understanding this step, I started working towards my self-development, not about others. Most importantly, I reduced complaining about others. My life from starting, I wanted to make everyone perfect. So I was trying to complain about them correctly them. With this, I end up in problems. Basically, everyone says I am a very good person, but with this attitude of complaining and correcting others, all my kindness, love, compassion towards them is hindered. I end up with a mark of angry man. Coming to step five, on what basis I am taking my decision? Decisions I take based on assumption or precondition are not definite, but if I take decision on right understanding, then it is definite. I want to share an incident. Myself and my family members were calling a person for some work to be done at the earliest, but we were not able to reach him for a couple of days. My parents were telling me that maybe he is not interested to do that work for us. I was waiting for his reply. Finally, we reached to him and he told that for past few days, we, he went to a place where signals were not there. With this, I realized taking decisions based on assumption will guide us towards feeling which is not naturally acceptable to us. I became unhappy. So decision I make need to be based on right understanding. With that, my feeling is naturally acceptable to me. I am comfortable with it and I became happy. So with this, uh, when we see right understanding to be ensured, uh, right understanding to ensure right feeling in step six. So the feeling of relationship the feeling of harmony and the feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable to me. I need to understand these feelings. Right now, at many times, I see feeling of relationship. I started to see that the other is similar to me. The feeling of relationship, all nine feelings, is understood, but in practice, 
I am not able to see its continuity. Similarly, feeling of harmony comes and goes. Finally, feeling of coexistence is very subtle at this point. One incident I want to share with all of you that in the face-to-face -face workshop during the break, one participant asked Umesh Bhaya, what is the difference between Atma and Paramatma? Then Umesh ji responded, I was listening carefully. He told that what is Paramatma means. He told, we all believe that Paramatma is only one. So the space is also one. It is eye-opening for me. Now I can see that my coexistence in existence. Ensuring right feeling and natural feeling leading to happiness. I understood this, but ensuring it is in process. Hopefully, I will bring it in my living at the earliest possible. With this clarity, I went to face-to-face -to -face workshop and took tutorial sessions and able to answer and respond to many questions by participant with the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. There was one question, how big is self in child and adult? I gave the answer that one has to see by themselves as we discussed in the morning sessions. And that was also very helpful for handling the tutorial session in many, many uh, responses. So I can clearly see up to step five right now. Partially, I am able to observe step six also. Need to work on step seven. Now coming to exercise two, observing the body and interaction between the self and the body by the self. So I can see the body is there. I can also the self is there and body is the material you need and self is conscious you. With the examples of car and driver, I relate my body is there and self is also there. And I observe the interaction between self and body in step two. And this interaction is in the form of only information and no material things is exchanged between them. From the needs, activities, responses of self and body, I can clearly observe this coexistence of self and body. Observing the decision making in step three, I myself gives the instruction to body and the body follows it. I read the sensation from the body, which is important for me. Right now, I am not able to read all sensation coming from body. Suppose when I am hungry, I feel discomfort. But if I pay attention and my work, I am not reading hunger sensation. So I read sensation, which is important for me. I decide what sensation to risk, uh, what sensation to read. I myself is the decision maker. I am the seer, doer and enjoyer. So I can observe this. In step four, observing the distance between self and God. Previously, I was thinking I am in the sensation. If I am in the sensation, then how can I see the sensation? So I was assuming I am the body. So that's why I was thinking I am in the sensation. Now with this step, I am clear that, I clearly see that I am not in the sensation. What are the sources for sensation? If we see this, there are three sources as given in step five. One is from outside, the other's actions, behaviors, so on. The second one is due to physiochemical changes happening around us. 
and the third one is the sensation within my body for example if someone is smoking i sense that and i associate some meaning to it now some physical physiochemical changes happening there i can read that sensation due to this i have some sensation in my body also i observe that my imagination is also because of my sensation and i associate some meaning to it now i see that i give this meaning based on my sanskar i react when my sanskar is guided by assumption and i respond when my sanskar is guided by knowing finally i am deciding to express the feeling that i have to outside world i instruct my body and body acts accordingly and expresses it out while driving my vehicle most of the time i get to react immediately but now i see that i can decide whether to express it or not i am practicing it but still i am sleeping few times i observe that if my sanskar is based on understanding my feeling is natural i am happy but if my sanskar is based on assumption then my feeling is not definite happiness is not continuous in step 6a sanskars based on assumption i am enslaved and 6b sanskar based on understanding i am self organized i was giving different meaning to same situation based on relatedness i see with the other but i was thinking relationship is only with blood relationship or close friends or member now with the clarity of relationship that i am related to all i am working on my deep rooted sanskar i have right now hopefully i will come out of this very quickly in step 7 observing my being in space i am in space and my body is also in space i am coexistence in space now i am realizing this truth slowly in exercise 2 i can observe slowly up to step 5 easily but working on step 6 and step 7 need to be realized in coming future with all these steps exercise 1 and 2 with the clarity up to now i see that the happiness is innate in me i am responsible for my happiness and unhappiness outside effects are only a trigger with the video discussion on right here right now i clearly see that response to situation leads to happiness and reaction leads to unhappiness the chain reaction keeps me aware i need to be responded all the time previously i was expecting feeling from others and happiness from favorable sensation now i am focusing my own self development i am developing right understanding and right feeling in myself the term natural acceptance brought so much clarity in me coming to my commitment to develop clarity on the content i am attending all the uhv sessions on weekly meetings watching the videos listening to them when i am driving traveling and also giving demo sessions whenever it is possible regarding social responsibility my commitment right now i focus to take this content to all 5000 students in the campus i took responsibility of uhv cell in the institute 
this year in student induction program i took 30 hours of uhv1 sessions three parallel sessions to all newly joined students i am also handling uhv2 classes for 200 students this semester i am motivating other faculty to take uhv fdps right now only we are four faculty in the institute now number is increasing but lot of work need to be done in this regard whenever i find time i am also volunteering for fdps and weekly meeting with this i thank each one of you especially charat ji who is motivating supporting always my regards to all resource persons kumar bhaiya vanchana didi umesh bhaiya sharmila didi special thanks to parikshit bhaiya and bn bhaiya and also the dilshad bhaiya i wish to extend my regards to tara prasanna bhaiya sunil bhaiya and amresh bhaiya and also each one of uhv family members my gratitude to all especially my family members who is supporting for my excellence thanks a lot namaste namaste to all thank you bhaiya for your speaking and i would like to request the participant if any one participant have any question any observation regarding the sharing of jagdish bhaiya you may please put up your query or your observation over here नमस्ते not only work on self development but also had explored that how contributing to a team development and societal development also helps in self development there is really an example for all of us who many times in the beginning or maybe for a long period of time i would consider that let's work on myself first and then only I may be able to contribute, but you can clearly see with the feeling of the result here that everything is in complementarity and in connection. The development, the team development, and the societal development. And I always bank on the result here whenever I need. I see the result here there, and whatever the need. whatever the help i need by is always available for the same and it's only possible when you are there when you are available there so thank you bhaiya for being in the part of the family and thank you helping me also as lord and contributing thank you bhaiya thank you with all, with all of you i am here and i thank all of you who part and yeah i am focusing on my self development mostly Nice, nice. Certainly, we have. We all are course builders. Always welcome. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Thank you, Parichin. Yeah. Sunil, yeah. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Sumitra. Namaste. Namaste, Jayesh Babu, Bhaiya. Namaste, nice Sunil. To, yeah, Namaste. Nice to listen to you in this early morning session. Um, your sharing was wonderful. I would say. I have been listening to you. Um. maybe from uh, january this year i suppose so as a volunteer and thereafter in the uh, bangalore workshop bangalore conference we met together and we stayed in adjacent rooms i 
remember the interactions with you. And I could see that you are a very calm and composed person by that time itself. But in your sharing, you are telling that you were, you were short-tempered and you overcome that uh, behavior of short-temperedness through this UHP program. You said that you were searching for a method or some way to come out of this and uh, you found UHP as the best way to come out of this. That is something which is uh, um, which, which stands out in your uh, say presentation or in your uh, sharing. And thereafter, you have been continuously volunteering for all the activities of the UHP programs, whether it is with UHP 1 or UHP 2. And you have been a co-facilitator in one of the face-to-face -face workshops also. Nice to see that. And you have been um, presenting, say, demo presentations in the weekly meetings also, a constant contender in those weekly meetings, continuously participating and trying to improve your competence. So uh, sooner than later, you will become a resource person as you are uh, teaching rather sharing values with your students. Like you said, 200 students are being mentored by you in this uh, SIP or otherwise. It is very much enriching to all teachers like me. And uh, interaction with you always is uh, very much encouraging as far as I'm concerned, especially during this Wednesday evening meeting, 7.30 p.m. meeting, when you ask a question, when you interact something, when you share something, I put myself into thoughts. Sometimes I may not be able to respond to what you ask uh, immediately. So after the meeting, after 8.30, I think for some time, what I was telling is correct or what, or do we need to explore more? I felt that I have to explore more because you have been exploring and that is helping me to explore. So thank you so much, Jagdish Paya, for the sharing. We enjoyed yes. it. So uh, you said, just one query from this, yes. you stated that you have uh, come out of uh, your um, anger or uh, short-tempered behavior because of UHV. Can I just uh, throw some more light upon this? Because you said in the beginning you were searching for some other options, and later you came across UHV, and that was an option. Yeah. But how did you actually come out of this? With which proposals actually helped you to come out of this anger or your uh, feeling of uh, short term behavior? Uh, but I didn't feel when I interacted with you like this. <laughs> Still, I am telling because <laughs> you are the best person to evaluate yourself. Uh, so yeah, this is just a question, uh, just a yes. casual question only. Thank you, Paya. Uh, over to you. Thank you, thank you for your reflection and and uh, observation. Yeah, uh, when people see me, I look very calm and composed outside, but inside there is a volcano going. On. So I dis get disturbed inside so much. And I take very minute things emotionally. My emotional quotient is very high. From childhood, I am intelligent quotient is very less. I am very emotional. But I always think I want to be perfect and I want to get good name in the society. Uh, even then, I don't have much uh, uh, eager to get physical facilities, but I am always eager to get good name. That made me outside to adjust with everybody and, and everybody see me that you are very calm. But when I go home, I showed this all frustration on my mother initially and after marriage and my wife. And my wife told that you are very nice person in all the sense you take care of everyone but this anger is the only one you had to get rid of then after going through these uhv sessions and workshops fdps one day while we are taking lunch with my colleague and my wife was also there and my colleague asked my wife what changes you are seeing in your husband my wife replied I prayed to many gods from 13 years, but his anger has not reduced. But with UHV, it is getting reduced. But uh, still, I'm working on it. And, uh, it's not completely gone. That is, uh, I observed the 
the proposal that i see is whatever i make the decision i am responsible for it so if i want to be happy myself so i have to see the who made the decision so i made the decision with that proposal i am getting more and more clarity so thank you nice nice for you very nice so your wife can observe it that is an indication <laughs> that you are changing very nice <laughs> yeah so it was not their external i, I can also cannot also see uh, externally you are very calm and composed very quiet and uh, speak only few words and but when you speak you speak uh, very nicely and uh, up to the point no exaggerations no uh, emotions i could see that but when your wife can see that who is very close to you this is an indication of uh, you changing thank you for you keep on exploring thank you nice thank you yeah the question namaste नमस्ते नमस्ते जी हाँ नमस्ते तो मलावर एक्सप्लोर सो जगदीश जी सुनील भाई परीक्षित थिंग वट आई वॉन्ट टू से टॉक टू यू इन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म एवरी पॉइंट द वर्ड्स कम आउट ऑफ यू इट Uh, the words of realization and uh, whenever you share something you put your points it always looks like that it is you know it was my point or it was my concern i was or i am undergoing similar situation so uh, i become very happy you know, to see the path we are going ahead the similar path you know you are following or the somebody else and follow the similar path in that way it gives a different kind of feeling yes uh, this is the point where i was sleeping this is the point where i was uh, observing in the similar way so all these things comes and uh, you know bring some kind of closeness or relatedness to you know this particular co explorer when these those points share so <laughs> for you know that i have called you, you know sometimes in uh, different observations in the morning session so i really you know thank you for uh, putting your sharings so it was very encouraging and i wish you all the best and surely as sunil bhai said we are looking forward to you in different forums uh, in this uh, you know usb activity as a consistent regular volunteer and uh, the complimentary person uh, to all of us ji bhai thank you thank best thank, thank you tara bhai and we are in same uh, line working for our self development and harmony in the family with the kids and uh, this mentoring the kids or as a parent parenting is the biggest challenge we are have facing and with your uh, daughter sharing in the face um, this voluntary workshop in bhuneshwar i listen that and i also shared in previous somewhere in some session that is really motivating to parent my kids and uh, she told which feeling is acceptable to you <laughs> relationship or opposition she responded in in that age now i see that each kid also has natural acceptance and we have to respect each um, kids feelings and we should parent in that way it is very very uh, encouraging from that sharing and i started realizing that so if i get angry on my kids that has a lot of effect on them so i am trying to practice that and thank you for that and also for supporting whenever there is weekly meetings there is lot of support from all of you to explore thank you bye okay namaste namaste thank you ma'am so now i would like to request samina ji ji namaste bhaiya sabhi ko namaste good morning namaste very very beautiful wonderful sharing jagdish babu ji um 
I think this is one of the most exemplary sharings we have had so far. With such clarity and so with such simplicity, you were able to honestly share your journey so far in the stipulated time, along with the examples, along with the clarity of the steps. I think you, you will observe even in the chat, there have been many, many sharings of people who liked your sharing. So, um, and I also know that <coughs> you have been observing just from the questions you've been asking, the interaction that we've had over the course of the last exercise one and two. Um, but this much clarity that you have, we were able to get the whole picture of your journey in a very short span, very nicely. Um, all our best wishes, like Sunilji mentioned, I think it will not be long before you will be um, seen as a resource person and much more. And I think, you know, to a large extent, this has to do with your own sanskars, your good sanskars from before itself. And of course, your very, very sincere effort at self-exploration, like you mentioned, you know, listening to the lectures and observing yourself while driving, while doing other activities and so on. Uh, just your whole focus being on that, we can see the results very clearly. So all the very best of wishes. Thank you, Didi. And thanks a lot for bringing this transformation in me and to all co-explorers. And I always remember that one example that you gave. Whenever I sleep, I remember that, that kids learning walking, they sleep and again learn. <laughs> That has given me motivation. Every time I sleep, I remember, okay, I'm a kid. Now I sleep, so let me learn again. So that is, uh, uh, now I'm not disturbed or irritated uh, with the sleeping. I'm, yeah, I sleep, I know, uh, I made this now. So I let me be aware of that. That example is very, very nice. Uh, very, very motivating. And my mother is also observed that he became less anger now. I don't know what he is doing, UHV, something. <laughs> um, uh, he, she is telling to my brothers, uh, he is doing something in the morning, fight at tea. Even in the vacation, when he come to home, he is listening. You know, uh, something is happening. Like My brother asked, what you are doing? I said, I am observing myself. And are you becoming sannyas or what? I said, it is for my own development. So it has some transformation in me. Let me try this. So that much uh, I am seeing and I'm able to get clarity that what I'm. And after exercise one finished, I went to face to face workshop. All our discussions and the questions from the co-explorers helped me to take tutorial session in confidence and face the questions from the participants there. So that I want to thank for that, uh, especially. Thank you, Didi. And I will continue. And I need more uh, support and exploration need to be done uh, still. Thank you. Thank you. We all need to explore more. And we all, uh, as a family, uh, are helping each other with our explorations. Very beautiful. Best wishes. Thank you. Namaste. Uh, Gita ji would like to say something. Uh, Didi, Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Didi, can I add few words about sure. Jagdish Babu, sir? Yes. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, sorry, Bhaiya, I was I was busy in the kitchen. That is why I didn't raise my hand, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, no had I been in in your state while sharing, definitely there would have been a feeling of pride superiority complex, dominance in my sharing, Baya. You're so humble, modest. I could clearly see the feeling of relationship, Baya. 
and i was comparing with myself definitely there would have been a feeling of dominance in my sharing bhaiya then second thing bhaiya before you ch me when youngsters when juniors they share their reflection i was jealous about them bhaiya but today sharing i could clearly see excellent uh, sharing from yourself bhaiya and we could clearly see it is from your heart it is a true exploration true journey an incredible journey bhaiya so i could not see the feeling of jealous towards your sharing today bhaiya i was really compliment and directly towards your sharing it really helps each and every one of us bhaiya it's a lesson it's i could say it's a template a model for every one of us how to present the sharing bhaiya thank you so much bhaiya thank you every one of uh, us really enjoyed your sharing we could learn I, so much from your sharing how to put it with the feeling of relationship bhaiya there was not a, a single point a single word that reflected yes i have done it i have mastered it that was not at all reflected in your sharing bhaiya and i was able to clearly see bhaiya because at times in my sharing it reflects bhaiya that yes. i could clearly see and i could really admire your sharing bhaiya excellent sharing bhaiya on behalf of all of us thank you so much for your excellent sharing bhaiya that's it from my side bhaiya thank you bhaiya thank you didi thank you didi um uh, with your sharing i also learn uh, how to put in uh, clear sentences i am weak in that i am also learning from your sharing how to put very systematically maybe that is also motivated me to put it in very systematic way and how is your son doing in bengaluru workshop you bought i think your son also right yeah 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 very <laughs> fine bhai yeah okay thank you okay, so much for the but he is not regular but i am motivating him bhai so you are suffering from fever in one day in the workshop last I day came to you <laughs> last day yeah so, yeah i remember bhai yeah with this workshops i am getting this feeling of relationship the other is similar to me so in this is very important to see uh, that is making uh, really comfortable and calmness and harmony but sometimes it is also slipping i had to be that in all the time that is uh, i had to practice thank you dev it's the same for every one of us bhai thank you bhai nice vinay vinay namaste 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 jagdish bhaiya namaste vinay bhaiya i say vinay <laughs> bhaiya whenever i listen your voice i listen as umesh bhaiya <laughs> Yes, yeah, that 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 is said, uh, that is being said by many people. Yes, yes. Uh, probably uh, Umesh Bhaiya is the reason behind uh, my transformation, my yes. development. So probably I may be copying him. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I uh, this time uh, for previous uh, two badges, I was not very focused when uh, uh, during this sharing session. But this time I could see that. Uh, i am able to <clears throat> uh, listen very carefully of every uh, every sharing uh, of course i am not responding uh, in any uh, for any sharing but i am trying to explore within me and i am really um, fortunate uh, i feel i am really fortunate that i am able to focus on uh, my own exploration through sharing of others and i can see that youngster people like you tara bhaiya and uh, many others they are doing so well i really look forward uh, to be with you uh, in some face to face workshop or face to face meetings and all thank you very much for uh, the eye opening uh, and uh, some uh, experiences which you had it's wonderful to listen to everyone thank you very much all of you thank you sir thank you vinay bhai uh, actually we i would have met you in nandyal mumesh bhai invited me to uh, nandyal that uh, means he told you can be volunteer all there also yeah but yeah, uh, yeah. due that to my hectic been... uh, okay. the, due to my hectic schedule i was not able to come there academically i was busy 
<laughs> we I missed to it. meet each other <laughs> yeah, uh, i, I am also i also missed because i am listening to you in the uh, fdps your sessions mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and your uh, tutorial sessions mm-hmm. how you uh, answer very very balancedly and and always you give examples of your own exploration with your students that you are doing that is also yeah. inspiring all of us and especially me thank you yes yes thank you very much and i also missed an opportunity in nandial to meet parikshit bhaiya <laughs> who is the backbone of uh, entire uhv team yeah hope to one see day, you soon one day yeah. one day we will yeah. definitely meet डुप्लीकेट कॉपी आंसर बुक आई वुड से इन माई ओन जर्नी almost so when you hear me i think the things would be more clear i am really excited the, the way the things have gone in your observation and uh, with the way you, you have put in the reflection i am really excited and uh, most of the things are uh, i said it is copyright uh, example of my own life but still let me put up on the other day only. i am there on 17 with all of you nice very nice thank you thank you good day yes yes you all my voice thank you your sharings also helps us to learn more and more thank you yeah. thank you thank you good day ji one more uh, observation then we'll uh, we may have some announcements uh, yashwant patil ji ha uh, namaste bhaiya namaste sabhi ko uh, bhaiya i had the opportunity to meet you at a kalikiri uh, workshop so during those five days uh, we were together and i could very closely observe you the way you are trying to explore and uh, overall your conduct during this workshop it really inspired me and also you just mentioned in your sharing that the for students there are around 5000 students and you could conduct three parallel sessions so this is something uh, uh, which really uh, helped me that we can uh, do it because uh, this is some area where i am not able to do much but uh, really it was uh, a nice uh, you can say inspiration for me and definitely i will also try to repeat this at our institute so thank you very much and i hope uh, you will be making more and more a uh, progress here all the best thank you thank you bhai to just give a clarity 5000 in all four years and 1000 was intake in first year but uh, right now the in first phase we have around 600 students so what we are doing is we are splitting into three parallel sessions and in one auditorium i am taking most of the students and uh, the remaining sessions i am going for few lectures and a few sessions and the remain two or other faculty also supporting so we are working together but uh, for uh, uhv2 i am taking three sections of uh, 200 students uhv2 that is weekly two hours so uh, to get uh, clarity on what i am doing so i am sharing this thank you bhaiya you are there you are also motivating that the things will go very slowly don't be hurry so i am seeing that yeah the things at the faculty side motivating them is very hard um it is going very slowly and you said the progress will be very slowly initially and later it may be faster so i am seeing that thank you thank you bye thank you bye yeah thank you very much